guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders 2. We're on our way out to try to discover what the Hair Force's weakness is. We have a little quest marker that we are just a little bit out from. I can't quite see that far, but if I if I go to view map here, you'll see that it's um, it's right out here. So hopefully we run into some different kind of enemies and that's what we're kind of waiting on for the rest of our production for the the next quest anyway it looks like we've got a couple things to check out here there's a werewolf in here that i could talk to yay hey bud arf who are you and what are you doing talking to me one howl from either of us and the whole heart hunts army will be here in an instant and that would just be as bad for me as it would be for you. I'm a deserter, you see. I just couldn't stand being cooped up in that ship. Aru? <laughs> you want... Aru? <laughs> I just had to, I'm sorry. You want to know more about this ship of mine? It's just over there, the flagship of the Hair Force's fleet. If you want to head aboard, you have to be very, very sneaky. Once you've done whatever you've come here to do, come back and see me, won't you? I might have a job for you myself. Uh, okay. Sounds fair enough to me. So that's the ship, huh? And you have to be very, very sneaky. So it looks like we just have to go here to complete the quest. Well, would you look at that? Mm-hmm. That must be the Hair Force's ship. Let's go and smash some stuff up. Hold on. Hold on, brother. Maroth, wait. I have a man hidden on that ship. He may have valuable intelligence for us. I wouldn't risk exposing him. The last thing we want is a pitched battle. We need to sneak in undetected and meet with him on board. Zuljin, what about the hill? You could use your windbreaker to glide down into the ship without anyone noticing. That sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. That's what I would have done anyway if she wouldn't have told me. I would have been like, we just going to sneak up. I wouldn't have snuck. This would have been for an ambush technique, but... We'll do what she wants. All right. And here we go. All the way to the quest point. And bloop. All right. We've made it on board. Now I just have to find my man on the inside. Oh, I like the music. Oh, this is the worst. The worst. Quiet now. Let's hear what this fiend has to say for himself. Uh-oh. I hate this stupid troll. We had to go to get himself killed, didn't he? Now we had to sail all the way to Moonbroke to finish what he couldn't. And we barely made it here at all. That stupid storm tore a huge hole in the stern of my poor ship. I hate storms. And then I find a horrible little human stowing away in my hold and have to throw them in the brig. And I just had it cleaned. Gah! I'm having a real dog of a day. Stow away? He must be talking about my man who snuck aboard. Poor fellow must have been found out. We must hurry, Zuljin. The monster said there was a hole in the back of the boat. Let's see if it's big enough to sneak through. If it's not, we'll bust it wide open. We will bust it. Uh, let's see here. I can go down right here. And... Uh, can't go in right there, I don't think. Nope. Okay, can I go... Further right here? Uh, let's see. Uh, that's one way to do it. Um, hello? I can talk to him? What is going on? Might as well. You're humans. Get lost, will you? This is our ship. Dash it all. They've seen us. Fall back now. Ah, okay. So, that... <laughs> we must avoid drawing unnecessary attention. Next time, be more... Uh, surpicious? Okay, fine. So, honestly, I thought that we would just be able to, like, you know, kind of, kind of, he might, he might be a traitor too. I mean, we just met one. Okay, let's, uh, it's, it's down further, actually. So let's do this. Aha. Right in the belly of the beast, shall we? Okay. Hey! Hey, this water's absolutely freezing. Really makes you alive? Feel alive, doesn't it? You certainly have some unique preferences, Malroth. It's so cold, I can hardly feel my fingers. Uh-oh. Eep! Goomans, what are you doing here? 
Oh, it's only a slime. Don't worry. I'll wring his little neck and be done with it before he can tell anyone he's here. Whoa! Don't kill the squishy. Slimes don't have necks, you skill silly goose. Wait, is that you, Anessa? Long slime no see. What? What? Jeremiah, thank the stars you're alive. Sure is ghastly beast had caught you. Zuljan Malrod, this is Jeremiah. He is under my command. Infiltrating the monster's forces, alas, his mission has yet to bear fruit. What are you talking about? I climbed out the ranks faster than any slime in monster history. Oh, up the ranks. <laughs> and the hold is tidier than, uh, than ever now that I'm in charge of cleaning it. Whatever the case, we have no time to waste. We must find out what the Hair Force's weakness is before we are discovered. Hmm, perhaps I could be of assistance. Here, take this. It served me very well over the years. Yaha! Obtains the Mod Rod. Uh, what? I'll explain the particulars of how the Mod Rod works. Uh, all in good slot, I mean, in good time. For now, I suggest you trying it, uh, using it. All should become readily apparent, okay? The Mod Rod. Uh, inventory. What exactly does it say? An enchanted game that permits you to put a plethora of persona. Oh. Yep. Bruh. Whoa, what's going on? We look different. <laughs> this is the power of the Mod Rod. As you can see, we can ooze ahem, use it to disguise ourselves as monsters in Rome freely through their midst. Wait, the slime that saved us from the those monsters in Moonahan? That was you, wasn't it? When one was disguised as a monster, there are many things one can accomplish. You could draw near to the enemy, talk to them, learn their strengths, their weaknesses, their secrets. They're all disadvantages, though. For one, it's all nigh as impossible to fight as a monster. Should you need for the battle to arise, we do well to revert to our true forms. Yeah, that makes sense. Well then, let's head further into the ship and see if we can't find out some trick to defeating the Hair Force. Ah, and let us not forget the poor soul trapped in the brig. You should see to releasing them the first chance we get. The cells are in the room beyond the door. We have to have the jailer and we have to find the jailer and convince them to lend us the key. All right, transform yourself for the Madrad. Monsters uh, might just loosen their tongues if they think they're talking to their own kind. Okay, great. So, uh, the jailer is gonna be through there, I guess. Let's see. All right, can we just can we just fit through here? My view is all messed up, man. Let's let's talk. Eek, have you ever met High Priest Hargon? Me neither, but I'd love to see him in person one day. I wonder where he is. Get out of here, or you'll feel the full force of the Hair Force hair and force. <laughs> So the, the hair force is all furry. I can't wait to attack those hated humans. I wish the boss would stop monkeying around and give the order. This is the guy that we really need to talk to. The captain will be hopping mad if he sees you lot away from your post. Are you looking to end up inside a cell or something? Of course we are. We wouldn't be talking to you otherwise, would we? Now shut up and get out of the way, you dumb bunny. Maurolf, please, let me handle this. Whisper, whisper, mutter, mutter, mutter. Why are you whispering? You want us to hop into the cell, have a look around, make sure it's dreary and depressing enough? That's enough to be embarrassed about. Go on in, but no funny business or you'll be stuck in there for good. Alright. Uh... <clears throat> More monsters, please, please don't eat me. Oh, great and powerful Horgon, hear my prayers. Save me from the wretched fate. Perhaps we should use the mod rod again to remove our disguises. That might speed up the conversation a little. Okay, if you hit R1, you'll, um... Wait, you'll return to your original appearance if you hit R1, so don't blow your cover by accidentally uh, dashing at an inappropriate moment. <clears throat> Goodness gracious me, who in Horgon's name are you and how did you get here? Ah, where are my manners? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Hayden Abard. I snuck upon this ship to look for food. But the monsters had other ideas. <laughs> We're searching for a way to defeat them. You must have heard them talking while you've been in the cell. Did they mention any weakness they have? Anything we might be able to exploit? They're bound to have some sort of secret. Everyone does. But sadly, my jailer is a tight-lipped sort. Uh, he never rabbits on about anything. If it's information you're after, the downtrodden 
and put upon are always the first to gossip. And a ship like this is bound to have one of dog's bodies to spare? Perhaps you could find one. All right, then, Zul'jin, let's go. I mean, go. Oh, goo, I mean, go. Don't forget to use the mod rod before any monsters catch sight of us. If I stay here, I'll only end up as a monster's lunch. I'm coming with you whether you like it or not. All right. Hayden joins the party. All right. Mod rod. There we go. Boy, we are a, a, a posse now. All right. Eek, I haven't seen you around the ship before. You must be new here. So what if we are? Look at... We just want to know what's going... The Hair Force weakness is. Are you going to tell us or are you going to have to beat it out of you? Mauroth! Mauroth, please be quiet. Just leave this to me. Whisper, whisper, mutter, mutter. Huh? One of the bear, be werewolves has been making your life hell and you want to know what their weakness is so you can get your own back? Eek! I like to... I'll cut... Up, wait, I like the cut of your jib, newbie. Unfortunately, I can't help you there. I might know someone who can, though. That powie wowie yowie stuck out of the after deck day? After day. Would be more than happy to lend you a hand. Go upstairs in the main deck, then go through the cabin near the after deck, and you'll be sure to find him. Okay, so I imagine that we have to go up top here. It's so hard to see like this. All right, I don't think there's anything that we could do in here to go up. Hmm. Oh, stairs, beautiful. Sheesh. This is a, a very, very, very strange camera angle to mess around with. Uh, let's see. So the guy that I'm looking for is, we could jump. He's back there. Oh, he's inside there. All right. Uh, I don't see any way to get to him, though. Is there another way through in here? There is a door. Okay. Works from... Oh, man! This camera angle, though, is killing me, y'all. Killing me. All right. This is why rooms don't have roofs, by the way. This is why builds don't have roofs. You guys were asking about it in the last video. <laughs> this is why. This is why no rooms have roofs. Because you can't see anything. Yes? Is there something I can help you with? There's a beware wolf who making life awful for you. And you want to know his weakness? Though you can teach him a lesson? <laughs> Listen. I may look like a big nasty, but I'm not the type to nurse a grudge and seek revenge. Not like the scare wolf up on the forecastle. Perhaps you should ask him. <laughs> He'll be the biggest, reddest, scariest chap on the whole ship. Oh my god. Alright, so we have to go up top again now. Alright, let's not fall through the cracks. Okay, beautiful. And we made it. Change camera angle view again, maybe? Nope. All right. I will just shuffle through it as best as I can. Thank you. Oh, you new to the forest, aren't you? How do you like life in the big leagues? I hope you're committing plenty of evil deeds. This job's going to be a cakewalk. Those pathetic humans in Moonbroke don't stand a chance against us. We can have all the fun we want. There's enough out of... Wait, that's enough out of you. Just shut up and tell us what the Hair Force's greatest weakness is. Gaha, you've got some spirit, newbie, I tell you. So I'll let you in on a little secret. All of us in the Hair Force are covered by thick, shaggy fur. It keeps us safe in the storm, whether that's one of snow or swords. But there are there's one big drawback. If all that shaggy fur comes anywhere near a flame, I figured that. We'd go up in a sack of kindling. Bury us in ice and we'll be right as rain and bring the candles too close and woof. My goodness, Malrolf, you learned more in an afternoon than I discovered in many long years amongst these monsters. The information is very useful indeed. We have our inspiration, our new magical weapon. We must harness the power of fire. It seems our mission here is complete. Let us return to Bloombroke Castle and our true I before our true identity is discovered. And I learned the Sizz Snare, which is going to be a magical trap that 
Fins are forwarding marching foes with searing flames. All right, sounds good. So I wonder if there's any looting that I could do on this ship, but in this form, it's gonna be near impossible. <laughs> so uh, let's do this. Let's just go out on the mast here. Nice and far away from any monsters, R1, and we're out. Later! <laughs> now we gotta go talk to the wolf again and see what uh, what kind of plans he had. Maybe he's gonna want to join us. Oh, it's you again. Arf, arf. Not only did you make it onto the ship, but you even managed to make it out alive, too. This calls for the celebration. I've got just the thing. That's some sponge cake. I couldn't be convinced to part with for a price. My stomach's really growling, and I'm just dying for a good bit of meat. Fetch me five pieces, and I'll be happy to make the trade. I think I have it already? Oh, you've got the meat, haven't you? There's no fooling this nose. Do you want to trade it for some sponge cake? Eh, why not? We already have some sponge cake, but I'll take some, some extra. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Enjoy the sponge cake. All right, we got five pieces of sponge cake. And a little side quest complete. All right. Uh, so let's see. I don't know what good sponge cake is outside of what we normally have. Our sponge cake that we have is a moist and mouth-watering delicacy of dessert. Restores fullness by 30%, hit points by 20%. It's actually a lot better than regular meat. Um, yeah, so we'll see. I don't know. It's good food, if anything else. Um, now, if we want, we can just uh, recall back to the castle. And we make those traps, I guess. I don't know what it calls for yet, but I'm hoping it's not bomb cores. Because <laughs> those are kind of hard to get. All right here. So, let's invite the new guy. You found our Hair Force weaknesses and you rescued Lord Jeremiah from the monster's midst. That's fantastic news. I heard that he went out for a walk and never came back. I would have guessed that he's been spying on the enemy all this time. I know the man since we were both in swaddling clothes. I never doubted for a second that he'd come back. Lord Jeremiah went undercover long before you and Mauroth arrived in Moonbroke. Now that we know the enemy's greatest weakness, his mission is finally complete. So, Zul'jin, tell me how these Sizz snares of yours work exactly. We've considered that we can't merely belch scorching flames around. I trust the enemy would simply walk around them. I see. You plan to put it in a place, a mechanism, whereby the fountains of fire only activate when the enemies step on nearby switches. You really do think of everything, no doubt. You've even come up with a design for the triggering mechanism, too, haven't you? I'm about to. Well, Zul'jin, it seems that all that remains for you to do is go to the wizard's workbench and build these new inventions of yours. Then the blueprint can finally be finished. All right. And there's the new recipe. Look how excited I am. <laughs> Pressure plates. Beautiful. The start of all Minecraft redstone contraptions. Tread on a uh, pressure plate and set fire uh, cis snares won't work unless all their switches to activate it. Okay. All right. Oh, here we go. My stars, Moonbro Castle stands strong once more, and there are used to be, I'm sorry, used to be naught but ruins here. Grandfather? Oh, Esther, my dear sweet Esther, how happy I am to see you alive and well. Jeremiah, you're back after all these years. You have finally come home. I thought this day would never come. I thought you just said you have never had a doubt. The wisest man at the realm has returned to us. Moonbrook's revival proceeds apace. Old friend, and with your wisdom, I shall surely spread speedier still. Yay! Zul'jin, neither I nor my dear granddaughter have ever subscribed to the Children of Horgon's hateful teachings. Let us join you and work together as builders. Goodness gracious me. Hatching, hating the children of Horgon, becoming a builder? The old fellow must be out of his mind. Oh, Horgon, Horgon, hear my song. If you still, <laughs> I'll still be true to you. If you trust in Horgon, you can't go wrong. Uh, my ears, what's that awful cacophony? <laughs> Are you a monster in human form sent here to drive us all mad? Jeremiah and Hayden move into Moonbrook Castle. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's just singing away. <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's go check out our. Um, now that we have our normal view bag, boy, this feels good. Uh, it's great. Let's just hop over the toilet here. And. 
Oh, wait, my magic bench is right here. I moved it. Okay, let's see. So, to make these, we need castle tiles, which we haven't made yet. Okay, no problem. We'll make some of them. Castle tiles. And we'll just make, I don't know, 50 of them. How about that? It's made of marble, so just in case I need to make some more stuff out of that is fine. Let's grab these. And I'm going to put some more steel working. How about 20? It should take a little while, but that's good. I know some of you guys were saying that I was forgetting some people who still had copper swords and stuff. I'll look into all that for sure. Uh, let's see. Right here, I can go with iron. I haven't really... Uh, oh. oh, we only have a little bit of iron. Okay. I haven't really had the need to make silver or gold yet, but hey. That's a thing. I do want to do one thing before that's complete. I want to harvest these because they're really good to harvest. Potatoes, good. Looks tasty. It is, girl. Don't worry. And uh, we want to cook a few things too, but mainly I was concerned about the medical herbs there. Perfect. All right. Last but not least, let's go ahead and make the deals we need oh my gosh we need more okay we'll have those brewing let's make a few more castle tiles then and we're also going to need some pressure plates i guess um let's just do that and let's see where the pressure plates are pressure plates are there uh, and we need okay uh, how much? That's oil and iron? We don't need that many of them. There we go. That should be pretty good. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. This is ready now. I can always get more iron too. So we'll collect these and while they're making, we'll actually go down and put these in the chest so we can stow these. And stow these, and now they can get to work on the rest of them while we're kind of waiting for this to happen. And now that it's nighttime, I could just take a snooze. And good morning. Okay. Now that we have these done, I'm just going to go grab some more of these right quick. This, this ain't done yet? Wow, man. Sorry, uh, Esther. <laughs> Don't mean to make you dodge sword blows this early in the morning. Um, I do want to make as many of the medical herbs as I can for the next fight. Because I know we're going to need them. Okay, there's eight more of those. Almost 30. That's going to be enough to get us through fights. Plus, we got the big ones. All right, so all we have to do is stow the remaining uh, defenses, and we should be good to go. So let's go see how this is moving along here. Looks cool. All right, so bam, baby. They all light up if any of the pressure plates actually activate, too. That's really cool. Well, I think that's going to be it, because next time we're going to see this build complete, and we're also going to... I guess have a fight with the Air Force now that everything's set. I hope y'all enjoyed this one, guys. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgin signing off. And we'll see you next time. Break it down.